Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a kitchen sink drain trap. Yes, is this a recording? It's uh, very simple, I just, I had this pre-cut so I'm just gonna show and glue it on. My sink on the, is on the port, all supported. Once you guys put on the mount sink, you just get a supported goods. You have support in here, I have support on this side and the other side. Here in front I was not able to put the support because the door just go a step to the count, but I have I could do one in this corner. All the way the back I have a piece of support and another one in here should be planted, a lot of glue and cock. So this is a uh, my drain this i just gonna glue it together but this once you do the drain is uh just have to keep on mind that uh few things it is important sometimes you cannot do it but uh this is why we have a trap in here you see what happened here that the reason to have a trap you guys just make sure that you are not too tight for the to the bottom of the cabinet or anything on the way because the the reason that you have the trap is that you'll be able to remove it like you just remove it put it back on the spot in case you get it clogged all right so suppose that you too close in here you'll not be able to remove it pretty much i just have the pipes and I just put all together. This one is a uh, old one. I just uh, clean it and gonna put it, glue it right back in there. Because if I go to the store right now, I don't get my job done. And it's about it, right? There's a few ways to do to connect this uh, to connect this pipe in here. One thing you can mark them where they are. Other thing you just can go glue it on piece by piece. Probably on this one I just go try to glue one at a time. Like I'm gonna look. Some of this I could connect one, two straight pipe one side and just go from there. But uh, if you look on the pipe, see. A lot of this pipe you have a little mark when you have joint like that. Just make the curve straight. Like this one I can just disconnect one side of it. Bring it down. Bring it down a bit. I just would do this. Put the glue in here and glue it on. Nothing too crazy. This is a straight piece I could do just one side of it right on there and my glue I pick up one of this contain for this whole job from the beginning and is uh, pretty much done once I finish this I just can if I have a little bit left I just throw it out because see it's already getting a little bit thicker but it still works so this one here I can just put there I don't need to worry too much about it so a few pieces like that like this one is a straight piece I don't have not even to have any mark on it I just can uh, just put uh, some glue on it okay. make sure you have glue all over the place I just push it in and uh, you see here what I'm doing I'm put uh, I'm not put glue inside the connection my glue is just uh, around the pipe and I put a lot of glue you don't need uh, even this much see this one I don't put any glue because I just want the glue to be right on the outside of it so this I have it set Let's say this one in here is a straight piece. I don't need to even to worry anything about it. 
I just can put it there and put it right in and if I want to do like I say I could make mark on this guys and uh, would go good that way too so I'm just gonna connect my straight pieces in this case here I just show you I have moved I have moved this one from there this other one like if I don't want to lose track I can just leave it right there push this guys in here I'm just gonna go a little bit growing there then I go this one here gonna see here I go there this is done now this one here I just can move it a bit because the trap there you see the trap there allowed this movement so I think to grace and this one I still have loose this one moves so I just uh, I just gonna I can have move this one and put it back have it go so I can just unscrew this one and it's a uh, it is good idea to wear a gloves right now I'm just gonna unscrew this guy and try to keep this one tight in here I just have the movement down the trap. In this case here, if you guys have doubt, I could connect this one all in one shot, but I'm just gonna show you guys. It's no sense to go like crazy and try to do it all and then have to remove it. So I'm just gonna connect one piece at a time. All right, I'm just gonna go, I put this one right there and just make sure I'm just gonna fit, so. I'm just gonna make sure that it's gonna fit the square. And this one is looking good. So now what I have to do I have just two connection to do. I have this one in here. I have one connection in there and I have another one. There's uh, no mat to it. There you go. There you go. There is all connected. I have this one to do. But this one like you guys can see here. I just can loosen this one up. Tight it up there. And then I have the space to just wrap the glue around this guy. Nice and easy. There you go. And then this one right now, I'm gonna tight it real tight. Just by hand usually is good enough, but uh, gotta check it. Oh, this one is set. Like you guys can see, this one I just put a, a tiny bit higher than this one, so this one the water would go short. The water would come go straight in. This one have a run. And uh, as uh, so you can see, this side is a little bit higher than this one. The water just run very good. This one I don't have the dishwasher connector for this one for the drain of the dishwasher. I show you guys where I connect the dishwasher. Uh, come with me, and I just 
because it was way easier so I just connect the dishwasher right here because all I had to do was to open one hole the dishwasher right behind this wall all I had to do was uh, open one hole with the hole saw and I just connect it in here and everything looks good and dry so I just gonna have a few holes that I gonna put some uh, fill in with some concrete fill because I don't like to see holes like that a little bit different with the, the way I connect the dishwash because it was just easy and straight go I didn't have to buy an additional hose or anything like that the way that I could have done I even thought that before if I had the dishwash and was too short I didn't have another way I would put a T on this one and bring this uh, pipe a little bit farther down that way I could connect the dishwasher but uh, and then it was much easier to go there to the washroom cabinet otherwise I would have to cut through this cabinets in here so everything looks good we have a video to how to connect the dishwasher and uh, you guys can uh, check it out later on we're just gonna open this thing fill it up with water test it make sure nothing is leaking and uh, we should be good to go the sink is done and thank you very much guys for watching this vid thank you for your support and uh, let me know if you have any comment or any question just place it there I mean like uh, we're here to to keep you guys entertained and uh, give you some information when you guys need it so if you have any suggestion and uh, just leave it don't be afraid just say what you say because it uh, the feedback would help us to improve our video and give you guys a better product and uh, I love you guys and see you soon thank you